so now let's start the first chapter the earth as a planet in the previous classes also we have read about the earth as a planet in class 9 again we will read certain new things about the planet earth as all of us know that the earth is one of the eight planets in the solar system and we have read about the characteristics of planets that they revolve around the sun we also know that the sun is a star and it is much bigger than the planets we have read a lot of differences about the stars and the planets stars are much bigger in size they are very far away from us and also we know that the stars are the burning masses of fire and they are having their own energy and light on the other hand planets are much smaller in size and they are nearer to us as we know that uh, the nearest planet to us our mars you know that uh, certain uh, expeditions expeditions have been made so that we can know more about the planet mars so we should know the differences between a planet and a star as you know that the earth is the fifth largest planet in the solar system the earth is at a distance of about 150 million km from the sun children you should know that the earth is the only planet which is having life there are certain reasons behind it up to now whatever we know about the universe about our solar system we have learned that only the earth is a planet which is having life the first reason which we can talk about the why that earth is having life is its distance from the sun the earth is having an optimum distance from the sun we can say that it is not very far away from the sun and not very not very close to the sun the average temperature of the earth is around 17 degree celsius and it is believed that this is the average temperature which is required for the existence of life on a given planet the second reason which we can talk about is the availability of water as we know that the earth is also known as a blue planet or a wet planet it is because of the existence of water the third reason which we can talk about is the atmosphere as we know that the gaseous envelope of the atmosphere provides many important gases such as oxygen carbon dioxide and nitrogen i think you have read in the previous classes that these are known as life supporting gases since these life supporting gases are available in our atmosphere that is why life is possible on this planet these gases are very essential for the survival of human beings plants and animals along with that the atmosphere also protects the earth from the harmful ultraviolet radiation which comes from the sun it doesn't allow these radiations to reach up to the surface of the earth secondly the meteorites 
which also sometime comes towards the earth when it enters in the atmosphere what happens to it as we know that it burns because of the friction and we call them shooting stars there are certain gases like carbon dioxide water vapor methane so these gases acts as greenhouse gases what is the work of a greenhouse you know that a greenhouse is a room which is made up of glass panels the sunlight enters in that room at day time it warms that room but that heat is unable to escape so that room remains warm even at night so these greenhouse gases also